Hello everyone, welcome to the allotment. Um, oh shit, that's been fallen over. As I get here, there's something already fallen over. I've just got inside, so I'm pretty much just checking everything. I knew this was a bad idea to put this here, sorry. Just I put the storage box here, and we've had strong winds this morning. So let's just put this up. I'll have to get something to help pull it down, but welcome. It's a bit of a rough start, but welcome the plot. Um, it is January, Happy New Year, and well, this is the tour video, and then at the end of this, this I'm a bit of messed up right now, at the end of the month I'll be also doing another video where I go through my crop rotation plan. I, I roughly say it now, but I can't actually remember from the top of my head, but I will say some stuff. So let's just scoop, look around, show what's going on. So the front is literally similar to how we used to left it in December. And it starts to need to be doing soon. The apple tree's not doing anything yet. I do not need to research this, I need to keep I keep forgetting. So I double so and as you can see I did move the storage box from the front over there. I brought it down because I put space over there. But uh, it was a test to see how strong the wind was today, which had loads of gusts of wind. So that that knocked as you can see at the start of the video I knocked it over. I need to get my hands out of the camera. So Let's start the beds. Right, as you can see, last bed one at the front, bed two's here, and then there's bed three. I don't know if you realise, but I've actually widened it from that point onwards. So there was a path here where the part when the panel was one when the panel was here, sorry. And then uh, there was a path like that wide. I extended that bed since the panel was gone. Now I found the full path. I just need a small one. So extending that bed, so that's the bed to where I was last year, the last growing season, 2019, and then I extended that bed there to add a little bit of strength. Then obviously I need to pick that down over there. But um, got paths to section out each section to grow each thing. Except this bed, as you can see, is smaller than the rest. So each these two beds at the front, the one, one and number two, they uh, end here. This one ends here. This one will be extended to the end of the edge of this path, which is between bed two and three, and extended to be roughly halfway through there, just to give a little extra space in between each row, because this is a thick, thick, thicker one. Then it's this one which is smaller, and that one is even smaller. But in this bed, I know it's, it's going to be tomatoes, lettuce, and cucumbers. That's what's going in this bed. That's in the plan. I'll go through it properly. I'll go through it properly next uh, at the end of this month. I mean, so I'll be at the end of this month when I get all my seed packets to go through them all and stuff. Like that. Bed two here, which still got the paths. The paths are lined. These two are. That one's a bit off. It's obviously a smaller bed. I do need to make sure that one's pegged down properly over there. I'm very on thingy. So this bed is uh, potato, potato, lettuce. Yes, potatoes. So the main crop potatoes are going in the middle. Secondarily,s go on this end, and the lettuce go at the end. I think, guys, or is it lettuce here? I'm not even entirely sure which one's which anymore. But I have written a plan. In this front bed, bed number one. Let me just turn around. Go to the front of it. In this bed, there's more of a, there's more dry foods. Beetroots. I've had beetroot before, but I'm gonna try and use it to the salad to make salads. So I'm gonna sow salad leaves. I've also got uh, I'm gonna put radish in it, just a little trial radish and squash. Pumpkins are gonna grow in this bed, so the idea is pumpkin and squash are the scent. Maybe one plant of pumpkin, maybe two of squash, I'm not entirely sure I need to look into that. Maybe let's see if I can dog into it. Beetroot and radish in the and this one's just spare. Also there is carrots in the beds. I think it's carrots actually in the potatoes, not the lettuce. Oh yeah, lettuce bed three, carrots bed two. So we got a bit muddled up there. Right, there's been some change over here, nothing's been knocked over. Yeah, nothing's been knocked over from my view. So it's just a of wind. I do need to sort that storage box out to make it sure it's more firmly in and not able to be knocked over. This is the flower bed. I did sow some snowdrops, but they never grow. Nothing happened to them. One of them got pulled out by a bird. So the snowdrops were without the snowdrops were here. I am leaving it for a bit. But I'm cultivating this ground. 
in terms of cultivating the ground for the veg, I'm going to make a plan when I get the seed packets and so that of when each bed needs to be dug up for, and then I'll dig them up when just before when they're need that they're needed. So not just just before, like a day before, but like maybe two weeks before they are needed for the plant to go out and into the ground and all so on or something. Then I'll make sure the dead beds are cultivated. The beds now, the, the ground is nice now. It was proper clear last year when I started digging up. This time it's better, I think. So in terms of this flower bed, that'll be dug up soon. This month, probably the end. Of, before the end of this month, I'll dig up, dig around this bed and try and clear up a bit. As well as the front entrance, I need to sort that out. As you can see over here, the tarp was here. I don't think I remember, I can't remember what happened in the last video, but the tarp was there with a pile of rubbish. I moved all the rubbish on top of there, cleared all the brambles to put underneath, and put the tarp there. I dug up some of the compost in the old compost heap, which is there, that's what's in there with the water, and used it to put in the troughs and the, and the plants for which I built. So this area, I've got the seat, my chair, and the incinerator, and this little bit of a display section, where I've got the pallet where they put the some weeds for some rolling about. In here we have uh, we have tulips, which are grand perfection, I think it is. This one here, one there, got to see one there, and there's also one here. So that's great. Got four tulips growing in there. So nice life growing. And in this bed, I've got some snowdrops, just uh, just the bulbs are getting a bit needed to put in so I put them in this one, just chuck them all in here. They were supposed to be the front plant but since I've not had it covered uncovered yet I think I'll just have the tulips and flat other flowers in there. In terms of this planter I have Madonna tulips. Four of them in there. There is some bulbs left over which I want to put into the either this bed or the front bed and I'm gonna get some either a climber or some sweet peas to go up a trellis. I'm thinking sweet peas because I've got some I need to take out the shed today to soak them. Um, over here's the storage and things. The uh, the greenhouse is back out, I need to move the shelf. That's the extra storage for the, sh the um, cold frame and stuff like that. These are still growing. I can't even remember the name. Like Williamson something. It's a very long name. But these are really growing. That's why I've left them because they just keep opening them up and doing good. It's really nice. There's stuff in there. There's a, there's a sunflower pot. Part something I forgot to label, so I forgot what the plant is. And then I think, I don't know what the plant is. Some covered garden flowers or something like that. I'm leaving them in there. One of them's growing. I don't know what the other ones are. I'll check them in the end after before I head home. Uh, so pretty much that's shown everything. The herb are doing fine. I believe. The rhubarb's growing again. As you can see, there's a shoot here. There's a new shoot here for the rhubarb. Nice. So it did die back and I thought it died, but it's not. It's dying back like strawberries too. Rosemary, I don't know what's happened. I need to find out. English lavender, doing lovely. Nice to do, yeah, there's just parsley, which is... I don't know what's going on. I need to weed this bed completely to get more space and clear it. So this needs sorting out first. So I can get down the path instead of walking into the bed here. And you get down the path, so that is clearing. Um, I think that's much, pretty much most of it. The plan for this year is to do some trying out from vegetables, of things I've never tried before. I did try parsnips last year, but they never grew. And also, I'm definitely keeping up the weeding in the beds this year. So I'm going to cultivate the ground when they could dig it over. That's when they get the weeding uh, and stuff. And then when the things are growing, I'll make sure I do some weeding, make sure I've got uh, some grow and stuff, and on the nutrients. The other tree, I need to do some research to find out if it's alive or not, and what to do, and hopefully it grows. So I really want the apple tree to grow. And um, pretty much that's mostly it. Talk about the plant. Strawberry beds, I need to clear it a bit, because it's a bit weedy. So all I'm doing today is just making this video, recording this video. I've also got some lights to put in the shed. Uh, this light I've got to put in the shed, there's like a clicker light. One's on AAA batteries. I do want to see if I can get string lights, so I need some more light in the shed so when it's time when it's dark or, or when it's dull or windy like today and I need the shed door to close because if it's open it starts swinging, it starts swinging all the place and 
closing by itself and stuff, so I need to make sure I can have it where it's closed and have some light in the shed because the light doesn't get in and this time of the month, year I mean, not the month. So pretty much that's um, I think the update of the plot, the monthly tour. Um, today of me being here after recording this video I'm just going to try and see if there's any way I can make sure the, 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 the uh, storage box does not move fall over again. I did try, I put wheat compost bits of bags in there, that's, what my, my, that's the purpose of it, to put bags of compost inside and to store them since I've got no room in the shed. We've got room but not for that. If you could just put in the compost bag, put it in there and then bring them over. In terms of over here, yeah, I need to make sure this is okay. But these tulips here, I forgot, to, these are not tulips, these are anions. These are looking amazing. I don't know if you can focus this. These are looking amazing. These are alliums. I forgot what the second part of the name is, but if you go on to my Instagram, it could be on there. It should be on there. Yeah, because the label is not here anymore. So, pretty much that's all I'm going to do today is just make sure that storage box is in. Because we haven't, today we've had strong winds. Last night, I think it, we had more strong winds. That's why it's fallen over. But today I'm going to try and make sure it's secure by the view. Also, get the sweet piece. I'm going to take them home to soak them overnight and then I come back tomorrow to sew them into, I think, pots. I think, yeah, pots. I'll put them into pots. And then I'm probably putting the trellis, in this trellis here, to have them climbing over the trellis. And then here's going to be the sunflowers and everything else. So the other flowers are the front. So. so, pretty much that's it this month. There will be another video at the end of the month. Where I just completely go through the plan. I've got the drawing, so I'll bring it over. I'll bring it down to the allotment, so I've got my seeds in the shed. I bring back. I bring down all the new seeds I buy, saying they're stored in the shed, obviously. I then now go through everything, go through the plan, show everything, buy and stuff like that. And yeah, so to 2020. Let's have a great year, growers. So yeah, that's pretty much me out. Cheerio.